The Rock County District Attorney clears three Beloit police officers in a deadly shooting that happened in December of last year. Patrol Officer John McMahon, Sergeant Ryan Flanagan, and Detective Nathan Adams had been placed on administrative leave after the shooting. They had 29, 19, and 14 years of experience with the department, respectively. Body camera footage from the Wisconsin Department of Justice shows those officers confronting 23-year-old Monte Penning. The district attorney says he pointed a gun at them, and that's when the officers fired. We have team coverage tonight. Francisco Almanara has reaction from Penning's loved ones, how they are feeling about the findings. But first we go to Tony Galley standing by with how the DA came to this conclusion. Authorities say the three Beloit police officers fired off a total of 22 gunshots in this confrontation with suspect Monte Penning. Rock County's district attorney says after review of diagrams, reports, drone and body camera video, he's come to the conclusion no crime took place in this use of deadly force. When police responded to try to capture 23-year-old Monte Penning, he was already a suspect in stealing a car, a suspect in firing gunshots after that heist. And when they located Penning between homes in a Beloit neighborhood, law enforcement shots fired at this location, subject is still armed. District Attorney David O'Leary says at least two of three closest officers were under threat when they fired their guns. Detective Adams and Sergeant Flanagan both report that uh, the individual pointed the gun first at Detective Adams and then he pointed it at Sergeant Flanagan. Authorities say the suspect's gun was stolen from Milton, linked to other gun crimes, but with no ammunition in it when found near Penning. Only one of two responding officers with body cameras activated the device. There's no indication that anything was amiss there. Beloit police officials will now determine if the officers' actions in December all complied with policy. In Beloit, Tony Galley, 27 News.